We've probably got 12 to 15 poles down with lots of transformer and conductor. Most of the poles are twisted, broken, snapped. The president of Verse and Power was on scene here on Parkway South and Brewer and says the damage across the state is nothing like they've ever seen before. When you think about the extent of the damage, this is 12 or 15 crews that are going to be here for a full day just to restore this area. So it's monumental damage. To see them snapped in half like that is just, it's incredible. And that shows you how powerful Mother Nature can be. Some Brewer residents like Scott Nason and his family just got power back. He says it wasn't an easy week, but they feel like one of the lucky ones. We had a small generator that was able to run our refrigerator so we didn't lose any food, but you know, not running a furnace or having any heat source. It was, it was getting chilly. Uh, it's been a mess and I still have relatives that uh, don't have power yet. Resident Rhonda Choquette purchased a generator and a heat pump in the days following the storm. However, heating experts say not all generators will power your heat pump. Most people that have been calling, they don't have power and they have a generator and I have to explain your heat pump probably won't run on it unless it's a pure sine wave generator or something like that. It is unclear how long it will take to get Parkway South up and running again. Officials are asking for patience and extra caution around crews as their restoration efforts continue. We'll get power back as quickly as we can and as safely as we can. In Brewer, Grace Blanchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.